वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय टू क्लास गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ ऑफिस 365 एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू अबाउट द ऑप्शंस आर फीचर्स व्हिच आर अवेलेबल ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सचेंज एडमिन सेंटर एज वी डिस्कस्ड बिफोर व्हेनेवर वी साइन अप आवर सेल्फ ओवर ऑफिस 365 वी हैव अ थ्री डिफरेंट डैशबोर्ड दैट हेल्प अस टू मैनेज द ऑफिस 365 सर्विसेज एंड दीस आर uh microsoft office 365 admin center first and uh, second azure active directory and third one is exchange admin center so as a microsoft admin it's our responsibility as a, a exchange admin it's our responsibility we should know about the options or features which are available in these different uh, dashboard so let me guide you about the gap between these three different options so this is our microsoft 365 admin center right this is you, you can say their dashboard one and another if you want to open th this is another dashboard consider as a as your active directory that help us to create a hybrid environment like you, if you established any offline uh, active directory server so you can uh, synchronize the server with the help of this particular panel but our agenda we should know about the usage of exchange right whenever we click on the exchange it will redirect you on page of exchange admin center talk about the features because you know that each and every dashboard contain a, a different feature to each other right so this is the panel of exchange admin center it contain lots of services related to the troubleshooting this uh, this uh, dashboard can help us to manage the security tracing the mailbox and number of options we are able to perform with the help of exchange admin center and one more point just wanted to add the exchange uh, dashboard exchange admin dashboard is also categorized in two different part see this is classics classic uh, uh, exchange exchange admin center and second one is microsoft 365 admin center right so it is also categorized in two different part and uh, as a admin it's our responsibility we should know about the gap between each other so i'm just going to open exchange admin center classic and as per the name suggests the meaning of classic it means that it's a type of old right so this is the old exchange admin center that give us a lots of option recipient permission compliance right organization protection mail flow multiple multiple options are available in our uh, classic admin center so and meanwhile this is the panel this is the dashboard you can say that latest dashboard it also contain lots of services so what i'm going to do i'm just going to start from the very basic because we should know about uh, the usage of our admin center uh, exchange admin center let me start from the recipients so as per the name suggest i hope you all of you are aware about the recipient so it contain lots of feature related to the mailboxes like as a, we are able to find mailboxes groups resources contacts and another important point is mail flow so let me complete the first option recipient and after that we'll proceed for the next in the recipient we are able to find mail uh, mailboxes whenever we click on the mailboxes it will provide n number of options like as a shared mailbox that we have already discussed mail flow settings uh, setting refresh and export mailboxes fine so talk about the shared mailbox so let me guide you about the actual usage of shared mailbox I, although i have already described the usage of shared mailbox but let me guide you again exchange admin center right and over exchange admin center we are trying to understand about the usage of shared mailbox okay so shared mailbox if we talk about the usage of shared mailbox so you can consider it as a a uh, common mailbox for example you created a one shared mailbox with name of uh, it help desk okay you created one shared mailbox with name of it help desk and the mail id for this particular shared mailbox it's maybe it hyphen help desk at the rate any teach me cloud dot in teach me cloud dot in okay this is the complete address of your, our shared mailbox 
Now, the meaning of shared mailbox, it means that it's a common mailbox. You can consider it as a common mailbox. N number of mail ID, N number of users are able to see the content of our shared mailbox. For example, in IT department, you hired in local IT, you hired up to uh, five engineers or four engineers. Those engineers are responsible to resolve the issues of our employees. Maybe the users that we establish user one, user two, user three, and user four, right? So these users are considered as a engineers of our Office 365, right? They are responsible to manage the they are responsible to manage the services of our admin center and Microsoft 365 center, admin center, and uh, uh, Azure Active Directory services as well. So for example, one client or maybe one employee send a mail related to the hardware issue. Sorry, these users are responsible to manage the desktop troubleshooting. Okay. They are responsible to manage the desktop troubleshooting of our employees. Now, fine. So, for example, user ABC or client ABC requested. I am unable to take print out, right? See, ABC users send an email to IT help desk at the rate uh, teachmecloud.in, like unable to take print out, unable to take print out, okay? This is the issue that uh, ABC facing, right? Take print out. Now, so what happened? The mail will be available in the shared mailbox. It means that the any employee, any engineer, you engineer one, two, three, or four, they all are able to see the mail of ABC, the uh, AB, uh, the mail that is shared by the ABC. And one more important point, and anyone can reply this email, right? It's a kind of ticket. For example, user two is now free and he is able to uh, resolve the issue related to the taking a printout. So what happened? User two can take the responsibility re to resolve the issue and also user two able to reply or revert the email that's shared by the user ABC or client ABC. So it means that you can say that it worked just like a common mailbox. The same mailbox accessed by multiple employees that you added in our shared mailbox. Is that clear? I hope you understand about the usage of shared mailbox. Let me help you to understand practically. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on add a shared mailbox. Just need to type the name of uh, shared mailbox. So I'm going to put help desk. Okay. Help desk and the email ID is help desk and select your domain. So I'm going to add my own domain help desk at at the rate cloudcoxa.in. Just need to add here. Okay, it is in progress. Let's wait for a few more seconds. And now we successfully added, we successfully created a one shared mailbox with name of uh, help desk. And we are able to find two different options add users to share this shared mailbox. Uh, whenever we try to understand about the meaning of share at shared uh, users, so it means that you want to add the employees. Those employees are responsible to manage the desktop troubleshooting as per the diagram. These users are considered as a uh, members of our shared mailbox. Just need to select ABC, AWS and Azure. They are able to access the same shared mailbox. Click save and confirm. We added uh, AWS and Azure as a member of our shared mailbox means uh, help desk. We successfully added two users. I'm just going to log in our AWS account and give you the live practical how we can access the mails of our shared mailbox. So let me try to open office.com. And AWS at the rate cloud kaksa dot in fine and password.
sorry i forgot the password let me reset fine so successfully reset the password let me try to open Now we successfully log in our AWS account and as we know that we added a shared mailbox we added the same user uh, to the member of shared mailbox so how we can get it go to the account name that we are able to find in the right panel right top and just need to click on wait 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 open outlook first because it's mandatory inbox are available our mailboxes are available in outlook not on the admin panel okay and now click on this particular uh, click on the name and we are able to find open another mailbox right so what you need to do just need to click here open another mailbox and type the mailbox that you created help desk at cloud kaksa dot in right help desk at cloud kaksa dot in just need to open it and now it will redirect you on page of common mailbox or shared mailbox this is the common mailbox and the same mailbox accessed by the entire employees the employees that you added in our shared mailbox see it is totally different from our inbox it is totally different from our default mailbox guys i hope you all of you understand about the concept if you have any question if you have any doubt please let me know and drop a comment this is all for today next we will discuss about the migration how we can manage the migration over our exchange server over our online exchange portal thank you guys take care bye bye do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys